It was a special transport for a Tampa-based air ambulance company. A young bottlenose dolphin was jetted over from Texas to the Florida Keys to his new home in the Sunshine State. And ABC Action News reporter Mary O'Connell shows us how it all came together. This is Ranger. He's an about two-year-old orphaned calf who was suffering from an underlying respiratory infection and dehydration when he was rescued from Goose Island State Park in Texas last June. Ranger got care at the Texas State Aquarium Wildlife Rescue Center and made a full recovery. They determined that if they put him back in the wild without a family and friends to help him learn that skill, he wouldn't survive. The Dolphin Research Center in the Florida Keys was picked for his permanent home. We like helping people and um, when we saw how cute that dolphin was, we couldn't say no. That's where Jet ICU came in. The Tampa-based air ambulance company transported the dolphin from Texas for free. They say what would typically cost about $30,000. We fly all around the world, so going from Texas to Florida is not a big deal. But when there's a 200 pound dolphin in the airplane, it, it changes a lot of things. On Friday, Ranger was loaded onto a jet ICU air ambulance and flown to the Keys. Jared Waite, the director of emergency medical services at jet ICU, told me how they made it happen. We had a vet and a couple of trainers with us. Um, we kept them comfortable, um, a little bit sedated for the flight. Um, kept them just moist and wet the whole time. Wait, right, buddy, good job. Okay, let's get you off. Finally, nice and slowly, Ranger made it to his forever home. Yay! To see the culmination of his entire rescue and rehabilitation come to fruition in his new forever home made me quite emotional, but it was all happy emotions, very happy emotions. Ranger is under careful monitoring while he gets settled in. Happy, healthy, and home. In Tampa, Mary O'Connell, ABC Action News.